Hello everyone, my name's Cole and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to look at another starship that I built here in Minecraft. I built those over the course of about four and a half hours or so, primarily using creative mode and MC Edit. I'll go over the specifics of the build a little bit later though. Uh, this is a mid-range cargo ship. Um, it's currently being used by a smuggler, so it has some upgrades over the base model. Um, those include three forward-facing laser cannons here on the front, as well as some hidden storage uh, throughout the ship. The ship has two stories. Um, it has the bridge up on the second story, and the rest of the rooms are on the main floor. Uh, it's an open concept design, and we can access the interior uh, through this ramp. Immediately, we come into the cargo hold. Now, although this is open concept, I wanted it to feel cramped. Um, so I've just kind of thrown in the, the cargo and such haphazardly throughout this hold here. Uh, we have chests and such for transporting um, some of the smaller goods, as well as space for crates um, of the much larger resources that need to, be t uh, need to be teleported. As I mentioned, there is some hidden storage throughout the ship. This trapped chest allows you to access some of it. Underneath here and underneath the floor, there's a whole bunch of chests um, that would allow the crew to hide stuff that they don't want the, uh, the Imperial forces or the government to find. Uh, back up over in here is the, uh, the main lounge. Um, we have a kitchen area um, as well as a table and, and meeting area. Um, there's some more additional hidden storage back in here. Um, this would allow you to hide some additional uh, resources um, as well as people or, or whatever it is that you're smuggling just in case you get stopped by a checkpoint. Uh, it allows you to hide stuff from the government that you don't want them to find. So we'll go over to the wings here first. Um, each of the wing has a, has a series of different rooms on them. Um, over here, this is the, the crew area. Uh, there are four rooms. They're all identical in what they contain, um, just a slightly different layout. Um, each one has a bed, um, a chair, as well as a desk, um, as well as the, uh, a glass area where they can look out um, over into space or, or look out on the planet that they're currently landed on. Um, as I mentioned, each of the rooms are the same. They all contain the same furniture, um, just a little bit different layout just because of the, the shape um, of this wing. It's kind of like an egg shape, um, but it's not exactly symmetrical. Over on the other side here, we have the, the med bay. And inside the med bay, we have a, a doctor's workstation, um, as well as a heads-up display, and uh, an isolation chamber here for uh, any patients or uh, people that they pick up. Um, that they happen to be smuggling if they're carrying um, any sort of toxin or such. Uh, allows the uh, crew to isolate them from the rest of the people on the ship, um, as well as four um, additional beds for, um, you know, for patients who don't need isolation. So now we'll head up over to the, uh, to the bridge. Um, back here is the main reactor core. Uh, there is no engineering department, um, just uh, two, it's a dual reactor core, a primary and a secondary, one for, uh, for use and then one for backup in case something happens. Um, it's all computer controlled, it's a very state of the art smuggling ship. Um, allows the, the ship to be run with a, a minimum amount of crew, one or two people. Um, these are just the, the healing beacons uh, from the end. Uh, during the Ender Dragon fight, the, the beams that heal the Ender Dragon come from these. And I just used MC Edit to copy in uh, these blocks here into place. So we can access the bridge here through this, just a command block that teleports us up and down. Uh, right here is navigation, um, uh, a star map that allows you to see where you are. Uh, these two workstations here control um, you know, sensors and weapons. And then up here is the main captain's um, captain seat. And uh, yeah, allows you to look out um, from inside the bridge, allows you to look out um, out into space and see where you are. Um, so you don't necessarily have to trust on the, the heads up display. So I've just taken us outside here. As I mentioned before, I built this ship using creative mode and MC edit. And like this, uh, the other starships that I built, the Falcon and the Whale, um, I built half the ship using creative mode and got the flow and form factor the way that I wanted it. And then used MC edit to copy it over and mirror it to the other side. Um, that way it just ensured that everything is symmetrical. There's a lot of nooks and crannies on this ship, um, and I wanted it to look exactly the same. And so uh, mirroring it over an MC edit was really the only way to do it. Um, as far as whether it's feasible to build this ship in, uh, in survival mode, um, it is possible. It doesn't take a whole, it takes a lot of uh, blocks, but it, it doesn't take a whole lot, uh, so much so that you'd be mining and such for hours and hours on end. Um, it would be hard to build, um, but it's definitely doable. Um, achieving symmetry in Minecraft, especially on, on this scale, um, it's difficult, um, but it is doable. I do have plans to build an asymmetrical ship coming up here, um, but that's still just in the, in the thought process here right now. Anyway, I hope you like what you see. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time. Bye for now.